Welcome to Algiers, one of the most fascinating cities in the world. In this video, we take you on a tour of Algiers and share our experience of exploring this culturally rich city during our recent trip to Algeria. Join us as we take you on a visual journey through the bustling markets, winding alleys, and stunning architecture of Algiers. We will guide you through the iconic landmarks of the city, including the Notre Dame d'Afrique and the Jardin d'Essay, and provide you with insightful commentary on the history and significance of each location. We hope this video will inspire you to visit Algiers and experience the beauty and culture of this extraordinary city for yourself. After enjoying a delicious breakfast, we embarked on our journey towards the square where the Algiers Central Post Office stands tall. This magnificent edifice has stood the test of time for over a century and continues to be one of the city's most prominent landmarks. Its stunning architecture and intricate design are a testament to the skill and craftsmanship of its builders. As we approached the building, we were struck by its sheer size and grandeur, which stood out among the surrounding buildings. Continuing our journey, we headed in the direction of the Mediterranean Sea. Along the way, we couldn't resist the allure of the bustling streets, taking in the sights and sounds of the city as we strolled. Our path led us to Emir Abdelkader Place, where we paused for a pit stop. The square is a popular gathering spot for locals and visitors alike, with its charming cafes and beautiful fountain. This square, which bears the name of the legendary Emir Abdelkader, an Algerian military and religious leader who fought against French colonization in the 19th century, is also a major historical location. After exploring Emir Abdelkader Place, we continued our journey and took a leisurely stroll along Gare Maritime. The stunning architecture along this stretch of road took our breath away. We were awed by the grandeur of the buildings and the intricate details that adorned them. The gentle sea breeze added to the charm of the area and made our walk even more pleasant. We took our time, enjoying the scenery and taking in the beauty of the surrounding landscape. As we arrived at Square Port Said, we were immediately struck by the stunning architecture that surrounded us. The buildings were an eclectic mix of styles, from colonial-era structures to more modern designs. The intricate details and vibrant colors of the buildings were a testament to the city's rich history and culture. From there, we headed to Martyrs Square, which is a significant historical site that honors those who fought for Algeria's independence. As we stood in Martyrs Square, we were immediately struck by the breathtaking views of the city that lay before us. The panoramic view was simply awe-inspiring, and we couldn't help but feel grateful for the opportunity to witness it. To our right was the stunning Kechawa Mosque, another beautiful example of Islamic architecture. The mosque's stunning facade was a symphony of intricate designs and patterns, and we couldn't help but be drawn to its beauty. The mosque had a rich history, having been built in the 17th century and later converted into a cathedral during the French colonial era. It had since been restored to its former glory and was now a beautiful testament to the city's cultural diversity and rich history. After enjoying a brief lunch, we made our way to the Church of Notre Dame of Africa. The church was located on a hill overlooking the Bay of Algiers, and the views from the top were simply breathtaking. We hailed a taxi to take us there, eager to see what the church had to offer. As we arrived at the church, we were struck by its sheer size and grandeur. The facade was an impressive display of neo-Byzantine architecture, with a towering dome and intricate mosaics adorning the walls. The church was a testament to the city's rich Catholic heritage and had been a place of worship for over 150 years. After admiring the church's interior, we made our way to the terrace, where we were greeted by some of the best views of the city. The Bay of Algiers stretched out before us, and the city's skyline was a stunning display of colors and shapes. After taking in the sights at the church, we continued our journey by taxi to the New Door area and the Bay Palace. We explored the palace and then visited La Citadelle d'Alger, a fortress that has stood for over three centuries. Our excursion through Algiers brought us to the Kasbah, the city's oldest and most historic district. The Kasbah is a testament to Algiers' rich cultural heritage, 
showcasing a blend of North African, Ottoman, and French influences in its stunning architecture, bustling markets, and historic mosques and palaces. As we traversed the Kasbah's narrow alleyways, we were struck by the intricate designs and stunning craftsmanship of the buildings. The building's colorful tiles and ornate balconies were a testament to the city's past grandeur, offering a glimpse into Algiers' rich history. In addition to its stunning architecture, the Kasbah is home to numerous historic mosques and palaces, each with its own unique character and story. The Kasbah's markets were a feast for the senses, with vendors selling everything from spices to textiles. The lively energy of the markets and streets was palpable, and we couldn't help but be swept up in the vibrant atmosphere. To conclude our day in Algiers, we opted to take the metro from Ali Boumengel Station to the Jardin d'Essai du Hama. This breathtaking botanical garden has been a popular attraction for over 150 years, showcasing a diverse collection of plants and trees from all corners of the world. The Jardin d'Essai du Hama is renowned for its tranquil atmosphere and stunning greenery. As we strolled through the gardens, we were transported to a peaceful oasis in the midst of the bustling city. The garden features a wide array of exotic plants and trees, carefully curated and arranged to create a picturesque landscape. In addition to the stunning flora, the Jardin d'Essai du Hama boasts several beautiful fountains and sculptures, each adding to the garden's tranquil ambiance. We took our time exploring the various paths and corners of the garden, enjoying the peaceful evening and the beauty of Algiers. Our visit to the Jardin d'Essai du Hama was a wonderful way to end our day in Algiers, providing a serene and picturesque setting to unwind after a day of sightseeing. The garden's natural beauty and calming atmosphere left us with a lasting impression of Algiers as a city of diverse cultural and natural wonders. Overall, our day in Algiers was memorable. We were able to explore the city's most famous landmarks and get a sense of its rich history and vibrant culture. If you ever get the chance to visit Algiers, we highly recommend exploring the places we visited and experiencing the city's unique charm for yourself. And with that, our unforgettable adventure comes to an end. We hope you've enjoyed following along with us on this journey. Before we part ways, we'd like to kindly ask for your support. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you'll be the first to know about our upcoming travel adventures and will be supporting us in creating more inspiring content for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for joining us on this amazing journey. Your encouragement and enthusiasm have meant the world to us. We hope that our experiences have sparked your own sense of wanderlust and adventure and that you continue to explore the incredible beauty that this world has to offer. Until next time, safe travels and happy exploring.